talking about the lethal words all women say, and I'm on a mission to get every woman on the planet to stop saying sorry. All right, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry. And Lucy, could you stand up? Sure. And could you stand up too, your beautiful daughter? Um, Lucy, I understand you are a lifetime offender. Oh, yeah. Yes. So how often are you dropping what we like to call the S bomb? All the time. I could hit a wall and say, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's like, it's a wall. <laughs> so do you say it at work? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the time. I'm sorry for putting you on hold. I'm sorry for having to say this. I'm sorry for having to say that. And it's like, okay, I need another word. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I understand you're literally tripping on your sorries. There's a story about a party. Yeah, so we went to a party. It was a surprise birthday party. And the party started five hours late. And I was there with my mom. And we got there like at four. The party started at nine. And my mom was like, listen, we got to go. And we were running to get food, and I'm like bumping into everyone and saying, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to leave, I have to leave. But you started like five hours late. Don't tell me four if you're going to start at nine, totally. and I'm apologizing. Totally. Yeah. You know, here's, here's the thing about it. I'm on a mission to get women to stop saying, I'm sorry. And the reason why is because our words matter, mm -hmm. and they communicate so much more than we think. And research shows particularly that when you say sorry at work, it makes you appear less confident. And your words at home also have a direct impact on the people around you, particularly your daughters and your nieces, mine included. I made the sorry switch a couple years ago, and you will not believe how powerful it is, okay? The only way to really beat the habit is to have somebody else police it for you, okay? <laughs> and what's your name? Nia. Nia? Yeah. And have you heard your mother say, oh, I'm yeah. sorry? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Does it Often. bug you? Um, not really, because I do it also sometimes without <laughs> oh. realizing it. <laughs> without okay. realizing it. Yeah, without realizing yeah. it. That's important, because when you start repeating behavior, it becomes a pattern, and you don't realize it. And if you want to get rid of that pattern, no problem. We're going to break it, and we're going to replace it. I had this happen recently, so I... Um, we were having dinner, and I didn't realize it, but I kept saying the word literally. <laughs> and my son, who's 14, made a side bet with my daughter's godfather. <laughs> yes, so this is our son, Oakley. And he turned to, to our friend and said, uh, let's count how many times, and I'm going to make my mom pay me $10 for every time she says literally. And so he said, Mom, uh, stop saying literally. I bet you can't do it. And every time I said literally, he made a little note. And he came to me the next morning, and he said, um, you said it 17 times. Oh. I've already gone on to Amazon, and I have a shopping cart full. <laughs> but here's the thing. When somebody else is policing it for you, has anybody ever had a swear jar in their house? Right? Where you put a dollar bill in every time somebody swears? That'll stop you immediately, because you don't even hear it, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I want to ask you to help, okay? okay. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to pay you to police your mother, okay? <laughs> this is a sorry jar. <laughs> you say it, you pay it, okay? Every time you say, I'm sorry, you have to put a dollar in this jar, and this is your jar, and I'm sure you're not sorry, right? <laughs> For holding it. So who else says, I'm sorry, all the time? I'm sure every, yeah, and even, I saw you the, the frowning up there in, the, uh, in the, uh, the red shirt. You were singing earlier. And you say you're sorry. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. She's not raising her hand. We all do it. We absolutely all do it. And this is why I don't want you to do it. You're losing your power when you say it. And it's become a habit that we women pass to each other. And so here's how you break it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Not only do you get somebody to police you, so you better believe every time Oakley was like, literally, oh, there's another, literally, I started thinking, okay, I got to stop saying it. I didn't realize how much I was saying it. You need to find a replacement word. And the best word to replace sorry with is thank you. Instead of saying I'm sorry, you're going to replace it with thank you. If you show up late to a meeting, thank you for your patience. If you have somebody on hold at work, thank you for your patience. If you bump into the wall, thank you for not breaking my arm, okay? <laughs> you got it? Yeah. And what you're going to see is that by saying thank you, you are keeping your power 
and you're acknowledging the other people or the wall around you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, great. And you're gonna make some money, right? So say thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Yeah.